Did you read since something about five coding? So now GitHub launched a new tool called GitHub Spark, focused on this: create applications in a simple way. Hi everyone, my name is Julia Ruda, and today I'm here to talk a little bit more about the new feature, the new interesting, the new cool feature from GitHub the GitHub Spark, a new feature focused on five coding property to be uh, to allow us to create applications in a simple way. So I don't know if you already seen or read, read, heard something about vibe coding, but the idea of the vibe coding is create applications using natural languages with artificial intelligence workflows agents and something else to allow people with no experience in programming in source code pro in code programming to create applications to create a mocap application personal application mvps pocs uh, 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 small applications using only natural languages imagine that you don't have any experience with source code you have no knowledge on python on .NET, on c sharp or in another other language and you need to create something. You can use the vibe coding approach and we have so many features in the market today focused on this to, to, to provide us this, this kind of implementation using only natural languages. And now GitHub launched the GitHub Spark, a vibe coding tool inside the GitHub. And it's a very, very interesting because as I mentioned, it's possible to create an POCs, MVPs and blah, blah, blah using only natural language because we have the power of the large language models inside of this process. We have a GitHub Copilot agents on background to create uh, so many kind of applications. And it, it's interesting because if you don't have any knowledge on source code programming, you can create this on natural language. But if you have, you can create your POC or your MVP using this tool. And after that, using the source code generated to, to deploy this in a production environment or to improve the code implemented by Copilot, to, to increase, to, to add more uh, other features, to refine with your team to be better um, the application. It's a very, very cool and very, very powerful application. But before to go to my PC to see that, don't forget to, to subscribe my channel, to like this video and comment here if you are already seen the GitHub Spark, if you have some opinions, some suggestions, or if you're already using some other vibe coding tool like Lovable or another other tool uh, like that, and what it's your experience or your insights about tools with vibe coding, if, uh, if um, vibe coding is great for us or no, if it's have a future or no, put in the comments and we can discuss a little bit more about this. So we are in my PC here, or properly my MacBook, it's, but it's don't care. Uh, and to access this, you need only to go to the github.com slash spark. And if I remember properly, you need to have the license uh, Git, uh, GitHub Pro Plus or bigger. I don't remember if the, the full the standard GitHub Pro have access on this or no, but I will be add uh, in the video description, the link of the blog post uh, of the announcement of this feature, okay? And to use this is very simple because this UI is very simple. It's something like a chat GPT, for example, when you need to, where you need to only put your thoughts, what you need, your ideas to create your application. We, you can add here an image to use um, a base or a suggestion. For example, you can draw in the paper uh, a, a piece of the UI, a preset, uh, or add a company logo, logo or something other images you can add here to, to support the Spark to implement your application. Here you can see the recent, uh, is the other POCs that I already did here recently, uh, and suggestions about the implementations that you can do here, or you can put your messages, feel free here to, to add your ideas, for example, uh, create a to-do list app with integration or to-do list, no, 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 no. Create um, 
backlog board to manage my job tasks. I think we can start with this. And when I start the process here, uh, what will be happen? The GitHub Copilot will be redirect me for this new UI. And inside of this GitHub Copilot, you start to thinking uh, about my request. Uh, if you can see here, we have a simple uh, UI here Cre uh, with my message, create a backlog board to manage my job tasks and GitHub Copilot start to thinking. He's trying to understanding my request here, uh, put uh, agents to work uh, in background to create uh, all files that we need. It's starting to create a PRG plan describing everything that this application needs to, to have. And using this, the GitHub Copilot will be um, start to create my application properly. Uh, this process will expand so many minutes and I'll be cut the video here and go back uh, after this workflow is finished. But GitHub Copilot will be using agents to create a lot of different files here for source code, index, HTML, JavaScript, C Sharp, Python, what is for necessary to deploy this application, to run this application. And we, we can see here a few minutes. Okay. So the process will be finished now. I found one small error and I needed to click on button to fix this, but the copilot fixed it so faster and created to me this task backlog board with three lanes here for backlog, in progress and done. It's a simple implementation for backlog and it's cool. And I have the possibility here to add a task. Let me check with you uh, what, uh, what happens here because I, I didn't know that before that. I only requested to create this board and this idea it's only from GitHub Copilot or GitHub Spark as you prefer. So when I click here on that task, I can add the title, task sample, the description, task sample description, the priority, median, low or high, I be put on high only to check this. I can add the task and now this is on backlog. Let me see if I have the possibility to drag and drop this. No, but I have the possibility to click here to change. And okay, I can change here for each lane. Good, 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 good. And we have here a simple backlog board. It's, it's cool because so I need to have a new way to manage my tasks. And now I have and with no source code line programming. I only requested this in a natural language. Only put the text in the chatbot. Oh, I need here a task board to manage my tasks and Copilot understood this. It's great. And we can do some changes here. For example, um, before to try to add something here, we have the possibility to change the team. If you click here, it's possible to change the custom team for Aurora, Neo Noir, Minimalist, Cosmic Late. Uh, let me see if I change for Neo Brutalism. What happens here? Wait for a few minutes to reload then. Okay, good. Change it, uh, 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 small things here. It's okay. Uh, we can change the appearance. Let me see if something happens here about this. Change it a little bit. And we can see here the data. This is basically the database of this application. Okay. If you see here, you have the table with this task uh, in the table mode or in a JSON mode with the ID, title, description, priority, and create a date. Basically, it's a NoSQL uh, prompt file, but we don't have anything here. And assets, if I have a logo or other files to use this, but I don't have anything else here. And if I need to update something, to change something. It's possible, yes. And using natural language too. I need only to go here in the chatbot and add something and add a new needs or new suggestions or new ideas. But I will be using the one suggestion from GitHub Copilot. Enable drag and drop because I read tested this and it's not working. I'm not able to do the drag and drop. And now GitHub Copilot is thinking about this implementation. 
we need to wait some minutes again, okay? And I'll be back after this implementation works, okay? So this is finished now. Uh, and GitHub Copilot told to me the files changed and added. And now in theory, we have the possibility to, to, to drag and drop the items. Let me see. If I click and yeah, I can do the drag and drop in an easy way. I changed it nothing in the source code. GitHub Copilot did this automated in a magical way. Okay, I programmed nothing. Imagine that you have no knowledge on source code programming. It works like a magic for you because you need only to describe this, your ideas, your thoughts, and the magic happens. The application works automatically. <laughs> it's cool, 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 very, very cool. But now imagine that you are like me and have a good knowledge on source code and like to see the source code generated to, to work on this on the future, to improve this on the future. It's possible to see. Yeah, it's possible. In this uh, UI, you can click here in the code mode, for example. It's uh, uh, the full way to see this. Uh, you have access on the uh, SRC folder with the components, all of them, libraries, the application source code, and the PRD.MD basically is the description of all implementations of all the application have here. Based on this is the GitHub Copilot generated the application. The first, the first step of the implementation is basically generate this and after this implement the source code, but it's cool. Uh, and here you can see side by side because you can make the changes directly on the source code if it's necessary or if you prefer. But uh, you can sync this in your repository. For example, looking for the other menus, you can click here to select the, the element to change. For example, I can change the buttons, but I don't like to do this now. Uh, I can click here to refresh the UI after uh, any changes. Uh, I can click here to see in the mobile to, to understand if this application is responsive or no. In this case, yes, it's a good response view we have here, a different view for the mobile. And here on more actions is the cool part of the developers because we can open the source code directly on code spaces or create a new repository with this or do some extra changes with the name, a description, or delete this Spark. But let me open here on the code spaces to you see all the files because uh, wait until loading here. If you see the code mode here, you have access only on the SRC folder, basically on the index and in the prd.md. But if you open this in your repository, we have access with so many other files. For example, in a dev container, a configuration to run this inside a container, a GitHub for dependabots, node modules. It's not very important, but it's the packages inside your, your application. And we have a lot of them here. And the other parts of the source code here, basically, we have access on this structure inside, uh, inside here code modes. And here we have more other files like a git ignore, spark initial sha, uh, components JSON, and other important files that you can version. If you directly create here a new repository, automatically will be created a new repo with um, uh, the, the repository name generated automatically for you with all the files like this uh, code space implementation. Okay. And an extra important point is Okay, now I have this application. This application works, but works only on this UI. And if I need to publish this to use on my days, it's possible. You can see here the publish button, the green publish button. You can click here and the GitHub Copilot will be publishing this application for you in a web environment that you can access the URL. By the full, only you have access on this but it's possible to, to give access for the other GitHub, GitHub users to have access in your application too. here. Uh, before to access the site here, we can configure the visibility by default. It's only you, okay? It's cool, important to security. 
and the other way is allowed for all GitHub users. If I allow this, you in your house have access on this. If it's an application with no problem to other people access, it's okay. And in the future, it's coming soon, will be possible to allow uh, specific users from the organization to have access on the application. But let me open my application now. I will be clicking on view sites and the application is open and working. And if you, if you see here, we have the task that we created before because this database is the production database of this application. But if you move this for your repository and change the connections, change the database and everything else you can do, you can do here, but using this published by Spark, this database is a productivity database and you can work here. Only you have access on this, in my case only me have access on this and I'm working on my tasks. I can create my backlog tasks, move here from the lanes and it's kind of cool to, to do here to work in, 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 with five coding. It's a very, very interesting, as I mentioned before, to create uh, MVPs, mockups, POCs, because it's very simple. You saw that. It's very, very simple. You only describe your ideas, your thoughts, your suggestions to implement more and more features and Copilot will be do this automatically. <laughs> it's very, very interesting and very simple to do. I'm using this uh, for other POCs here and to, I'm trying to create some ideas for the new applications that I'm working for. And it's very, very interesting because before that to create MVPs uh, was a hard job. But now to me to create MVPs and point of views make my life so easy because I only describe, oh, I need the application to do this, to have this feature, to have this in UI, to have this, 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 and this, and Copal generated it to me in a few minutes, 10 minutes, something like this. It's very, very, very important. And if you don't have any knowledge on source code programming and need to create a personal application, a small application for a specific uh, scenario, you can use this too because it's simple to create and simple to publish the application to, your, to, to use in your days. It's very, very interesting. So basically is that uh, I was planning to show you today what is the Spark, what's the Vibe coding, and how it's working inside the GitHub, a little bit about the power of the GitHub Spark for you, and I hope to see you in my next videos. Don't forget to click the subscribe, to like this video, and comment here about your feelings about the GitHub Spark, okay? See you. Bye-bye.